Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about my Creality CR10, which I converted into a belt 3D printer. So let's get into it. So welcome to year 2018. So I'm going to show you guys some footage that I shot when I was building this 3D printer. So it's a pretty simple process. I printed out these rollers and then there's a shaft that goes in the center of the rollers that connect to the motor and then there's an idler um, on the back side that just rolls with the motor and it worked out really well actually. I originally, as you see here, I was using some aluminum foil to create the belt which I thought might help keep the price down and I wouldn't have to buy some special belt stuff and I didn't really know what to get at the time either. So I tried that but it did not work, it tore very easily, it was not very strong. So that on top of other things, I think it might have worked a lot better with my setup I have now because the setup I had back then was pretty bad. So one major thing I have changed since then is that I have drilled a hole through the shaft going through the front pulley and this is to keep it from spinning. So I was having problems with losing steps um, when it was during printing. So I found out the shaft was spinning inside of this. Um, so I did this to fix that and it actually helped it. It definitely worked. So now I'm using some 0.06 millimeter, I believe, um, spring steel sheet. And it comes in a roll of six inches wide by like how long it needs to be. It's plenty long enough. I think there's a couple inches extra. But you can get wider, I just didn't. Uh, I don't know that it's necessary right now. I didn't really intend this to be an infinite 3D printer. It's just to um, print multiple parts pretty quick and it's actually worked out very well for that. So I had to also um, change some things in Marlin to get it to work right and I also had to adjust the E-steps on my Y-axis so that it would work right with the new um, arrangement that it has because the gear ratio of the belt moving to how much the motor has to spend to get the belt to get the build plate to move back and forth is a little bit different. So I adjusted that all up and it's working very well. So fast forward three years, today we are going to unbury it and we are going to get it all working properly, hopefully. So let's get into that. Wow guys, that looks a lot better. You can actually see me through it. Okay guys, so that actually worked fairly well. So what I'm thinking is I can add in this giddy detector plugin to our Octoprint setup. So that's the Raspberry Pi right here. And if we add this, it'll help it. So it'll just um, stop, it'll just scoot you down and it'll restart. So it'll be super simple, super smooth, and hopefully it works. So I'm gonna install that right now. If it doesn't work, then this might not be in the video. Okay, so I guess I can show you guys a little bit of how this works. So first we have our stepper motor here that's driving the Y axis. So it goes around a little um, tumbler and 
there's a couple right here and there's an eight millimeter sh rat, um, shaft in here. So on this side, there's a seven millimeter and this side, as you see right there, there's supposed to be a bearing, but I don't know why it's missing right now. So it's making the whole thing slanted a little bit and I have no idea how it's printing correctly. So if we come around the back side, so you can see there's a bearing there, and there's a bearing there, and then these are just bolted down with T-nuts. And then the hot plate is just mounted here, as you can see, across there. And then these are just kind of like sitting in there. And as you see there, the plate's not that level with it. So there's definitely a little bit of bug in the system. So let's put the bearing in there. Okay guys, so I think we've got the printer working pretty good. So I think the next step would be to try some vases because there's something in vase mode or vase mode that you don't want to print two on one bed. So I think this would be a great um, solution for that. So let's give it a shot. Oh hi there, if you guys are liking this video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so you can follow more of my videos. Okay hey guys, so it's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you guys some footage that I had from an RC airplane that I'm printing out now, currently. I'm just trying to print a bunch of parts to stress test it. What's been going on is it's been working really well for a while and then a part wears out and I have to figure out how to strengthen it and make it stronger. So it's really good information to get out of the printer. So the more hours I get on the printer, the more information I get and the more reliable it gets. But overall, I'm pretty excited with it. Okay guys, so as you see, the belt printer is sitting right there and we got it moved over there and it's actually working fairly decent. Okay guys, so I actually haven't showed you what I'm using to control this printer. So I'm using an Octoprint setup, so it's cooked up to my Raspberry Pi. So let's jump over and show you that here real quick. 
So here's my Octoprint setup right here, and you can see the printer in the new location. So I have the screen of the camera, and I'm using a Wise Cam with the webcam um, firmware that you can upload on wise.com um, slash firmware, maybe, I don't know. They have it on their website though, and you can download that and install it on the computer. It's a pretty good camera, and it's only $20, so it's pretty decent. Um, and then you can go over, you can see your temperature, and you can control the printer. So if we go over to our apps, and I installed a plugin, which is Continuous Print. So Continuous Print works so I can, like, this is all my files in the, in the program. So I can look through this file list, and I can search hook, for example. So here's a general purpose hook that I've imported the G code for through Kira. And I can just add this to the print queue. So I can tell how many, so I say I wanna print 10 hooks, or what I can do is I should be able to loop it. So for example, in the beginning, I showed you guys these ice cream cones that I was printing. So you need a, you need the cream on the top and you need the cone. So we can print the cone and the cream. And then I can just loop that so that it'll just go one second, one second. It'll just keep going back and forth printing every other one. So it works pretty good. I'm gonna change it back to the hook right here. Just add this and then we can start our queue. So I think this continuous print plugin really makes this so much better because it makes it the ability that you can constantly update that list. Um, so you can actively, when it's printing, you can add things to the bottom of the list so that it'll get to it when it's done finishing the top. So for example, um, I printed that airplane as you saw earlier in the video and I can just put in all the files for the airplane, push print, and it should just like print one after another and it'll just roll it off the end of the bed and jump to the next one. So it's really cool. So I'm still having some problems with the belt shifting a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I have worked it out for the most part. Um, I'm still running some test prints, getting it to work properly, but it's doing very well. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. If you have any thoughts on this, please let me know in the comments and let me know um, your questions. And if you guys want to build this yourself, I'm going to leave all of the information I have about it in the description below so you can go out there and build your own. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. I hope this inspires you to build something.